Hi, everyone. Have you ever noticed when you print to PDF in Smartsheet that it defaults to the Smartsheet logo? Today, I'm going to show you how to customize the colors and add your own logo so that when you print documents from Smartsheet, it looks a lot more professional. I'm Candace Porter, and I would love if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can click the little bell below to subscribe. This channel focuses on all things project management. We also talk about some project management tools. And if you have any special requests, I would love it if you leave it in the comments section. I'm currently logged into Smartsheet. And the place that I want to click to access my workspaces is the browse folder on the left-hand side. That will show me all of my workspaces. And I've decided that I want to customize Awesome PMO with my own company colors and the logo. I'm going to right click on the folder, Awesome PMO, and scroll down to where it says Workspace Colors and Logo. When I click on that, it's going to give me the option to upload a logo and to put in custom hex colors. If you don't know what the hex color codes are, usually your organization will have some type of a branding guide, or if you paid someone to create your logo, oftentimes they will give you a little cheat sheet or a PDF that includes your branding colors. I recommend looking for that, and that's where you'll get these branding colors. I'm going to enter the color codes for my company, Effective Flow Connections. The first one, I want the background color to be teal. And the taskbar color, I'd like that one to be dark teal. I'm already loving the colors. They change as soon as you enter them. So you can confirm that they match your organization's branding. And then you can click the logo, select the file, and click save. You can see that the taskbar here has already changed to that teal color that I entered. I love it. And now when I go into one of my sheets within this workspace, the branding color is going to remain. And if I go to file, print, it will give me some options here on what I want the PDF to look like. So landscape versus portrait here, the scale, paper size margins. And then over on the right-hand side where it says options, if you want the logo to print on the top of the page, make sure that the include logo is checked. You can click okay. And my company logo for Effective Flow Connections has now replaced where the Smartsheet logo previously was. If you go in to customize the workspace and you don't have the option to update the logo and the colors, as I just showed you on this video, you may want to contact your Smartsheet administrator. So if you have a business pro license, someone is designated as the Smartsheet administrator. If you have enterprise license, someone is designated as the administrator. They will need to go in and allow people to upload logos to the workspace. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the comments below that gives additional information on how admins can make this update. So feel free to reference it there. Again, thank you for watching. I'd love it if you subscribe to this channel and do let me know what other topics you'd like to hear more about. <music>